So everybody's looking for the fastest way to convert right out of the gate. This right here is going to be a quick demonstration on how a 10-figure copywriter uses chat GPT. Now, a few caveats. Um, this is based on a an offer audit that I did. And the formulation that I'm going to give you in no way, shape, or form actually gives you the secret sauce to what makes the product it's the product itself work. So don't think about swiping it. You don't have all the information. That said, I'm going to start here with branding. I had initially thought of the brand name Lush, but I I couldn't find it as a trademark. I always look for trademarks because I think exit. You got to have your shit trademarked in order to have an exit. <laughs> um, well, that's not true, but trust me, it definitely is better that way uh, because you're getting a real asset or multiple assets within that asset that can make you money. Um, yeah, when people steal your shit, it's $50,000 per incident. So think about that before you swipe somebody's picture or copy. Um, Lush was taken. So you'll see here, let me actually open this window myself. It came up with some names. Now, these all suck for the most part. This, Renew and Regrow, generic as heck but super high awareness. So I can frame it in a million different ways on Facebook, get them to the LP to confirm bias the sale all day long in multiple, multiple positioning, multiple verticals to create that exponential scaling that leads to faster exits. So I went with that. Renew and regrow. All right. I'm going to show you from the top here how I came to the hero mechanism. Now, we always think about symbols, right? The number one symbol in hair regrowth for men and women is minoxidil. Uh, for women, it's 2%. For men, it's 5% um, because we have different endocrine systems. So for women, um, 5-alpha reductase and DHT, which is a converted form of testosterone, you need testosterone, 5-alpha uh, reductase converts the testosterone into the DHT, strangles off the hair follicles. That's why we get hair thinning, hair loss, men and women. Uh, for women, we're going to add uh, estrogen loss, which is menopause, uh, pre-menopause, post-menopause. It, it, women definitely have a, a different situation on their hair, <laughs> with their hair, but I've written for that space. Uh, I know a lot of the emotion and a lot of the stories are actually the same for women. There's more shame in it, uh, which for them, they feel more shame. Um, I, I base that on focus groups, uh, and other things. Now in my initial research, Rosemary doesn't just help with DHT, 5-alpha ductase blocking, or just blood circulation, but actually helping produce new hair cells inside of these dead follicles. Um, so we're getting blood, we're getting nutrition, then we're getting the specific nutrients, the building blocks for new hair cells. And that's key because minoxidil doesn't do that. Minoxidil does not block the HT5 alpha reductase nor does it help directly produce new uh, hair cells inside of follicles. As you'll see, it prolongs the growth cycle, uh, the, the growth phase, I should say. So more follicles can be involved in the next, in every new growth phase. Doesn't matter. The basis of the reason why I came up with the name Lush is that more hair cells means thicker, fuller, volumized, Healthier looking hair. Healthier looking key. You'll see that in a second. So basic stuff here. You know, the 5-alpha reductase uh, for the rosemary. That's my hero ingredient. Because of what I just said, which you're not seeing here, that was based on a whole other session uh, with the clients. Now, Saul Palmetto. 
you'll see that uh, is in a lot of hair regrowth supplements for uh, blocking 5-alpha reductase and the conversion of DHT. Uh, adding it, no-brainer. It hits high customer awareness. More men, but people are definitely aware of saw palmetto and what it can help do for the hair because it's in every hair regrowth product. Peppermint oil, high awareness. You'll also see here how I took some of the copy from these and either used it verbatim or mixed it up. But I'll show you why that works and exactly what I did. Um, getting into the, uh, you know, asking questions, more hair cells means thicker, fuller hair, right? Yeah. And here's why. Great. So, oh, and look at that lush appearance. So I came up with the name lush. Unfortunately, it's unavailable. We went with renew and uh, regrow. Um, it, okay, so here was the trademark. Uh, so yes. And then I found this. Yes. Okay, so you're seeing some of my thinking there. All right. Do men and women's Rogaine product products use the same ingredients? So yes, they both use Medoxidil. One's two percent, one's five percent. They use a few different ingredients because women have more sensitive scalp hormone differences. Men higher because we're dense. I'm sure every woman on the planet pretty much will agree to that. Um, so he, here is also getting into the new cause, the reason why that didn't work or work as well as you want, and it's a symbol that everybody is aware of in the hair regrowth space so sorry if i sound a little ill i am <laughs> uh so now i wanted to get into the mechanism to understand what it does this is what i found to be the most interesting part i didn't know that um but it actually creates a, a even more apples to apples value proposition in terms of what this can do that this can't minoxidil so the rosemary formulation and the uh minoxidil value proposition apples to apples it's very clear who the winner is <clears throat> uh now do we eat enough of the foods that can help facilitate new hair cells now, the the, the 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 skinny of it is no. You would have to eat a ton of food and the right food to get enough nutrients to replenish what's missing and then what you need on a daily basis to renew. Those are two different things. By the way, that's why they're called supplements. They supplement an already ideal, healthy diet and lifestyle. Most people in direct response try to sell it as a cure, which is the exact opposite of what the FTC Categorize as supplements as, and which is why they don't allow structure function claims, which you'll also see in my copy. I take out structure function claims. Now, uh, all the foods, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to spend much time there. Uh, does it mess with hormones? Looking for new cause. Not much there. I'm sure I can find truth behind that because I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, obviously getting the top products. Um, so minoxidil, all forms of minoxidil. Great. Got it. Uh, minoxidil blocks DHT. Nope. Okay. Got it. Uh, what's the relationship between 5-alpha reductase and DHT? I just did that for your benefit. I already knew. Um, so you can take a quick look at that. Pause it. It's pretty interesting stuff. Um, and then I found other symbols. These are uh, pharmaceuticals that uh, help with the uh, inhibition of 5-alpha reductase and DHT. Um, but then we go down to our side effects, and holy shit. Common side effects include sexual dysfunction. That's not a small deal. And over here, this stuff right here, I'm using this as a symbol for sexual dysfunction in a male libido product so that stuff's for real this stuff should not be in uh, anybody's body um so that's an easy value proposition uh, and i was just confirming so the pharmaceutical because i didn't hear about these and yeah so these are great symbols as well um we're audience awareness market awareness uh, solution awareness 
Um, and once we get into solution awareness, we're getting into what we call sophistication. Sophistication is not complication. Sophistication are different forms of higher awareness. Y'all get that twisted all over the place. I see everybody misusing that. Um, so, uh, da -da -da -da. and then just confirming the differences between men and women. I already talked about that. Uh, confirming all of what I already talked about. Uh, to confirming less testosterone in women means less conversion to DHT, which means that their hair loss, while is definitely predominantly affected by that once they're older, getting the pre and menopause, uh, blah, 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 they, they lose more of their hair because that helps control that. And these are getting into all the individual ingredients that I didn't get enough information about at the top, which you'll see that, uh, in the copy I'm about to show you. All right. All right. So now we're in this tab. Let me make sure I'm right because yes. Okay. Now. So here's the name. New fuller, newer, uh, new fuller volumized hair, fuller volumized hair, fuller volumized, healthier hair, thicker. Uh, you know, there's just playing around with different words because this stuff also helps with breakage and split ends. Um, so other ways of talking about this stuff that are attractive to high awareness audiences. So this is using minoxidil. Um, and I wrote this in about 20, 30 minutes, uh, 148, 204, uh, 207 completed. Yeah, so, um, and it was like 10 minutes before that. So yeah, about a half hour, whatever that is. Um, positioning is the hook. So how many different ways can I say minoxidil sucks? That is the question. Oh, let's just take that over here for a second. Do, 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 do. Over to the chat GPT. Rewrite these opening lines in my Facebook ad. Harness the positioning I'm unpacking in different ways so different people men and women can relate that's what it's all about by the way it's not about broader niche it's about different relatability factors uh, uh here um relatability factors it, it so that is about hitting different audience awarenesses in different ways so don't look at it as niche or broad um if you're using symbols that can appeal to more people that's what we call broad but it has to be in a positioning that works that gets everybody's attention so it's it's not a it's not about I'm not going to get into that too much. Uh, okay, so it gave us some ideas, and we can use these. We can clean them up. But, again, this is feeding the positioning so that we get different ways of testing positioning. That's big in terms of also optimizing when we're running media, and we're like, well, does this work? Does it work? Does it not work? Um, and we just either keep it's working, add more spend as much as we can, as slowly as possible so that we don't mess things up. Um, but what, what are we testing? What are we looking for? Well, if we know we're testing one form of positioning, in this case, minoxidil not working to regrow hair in men and women, and all the different ways that we can say that, then we know when something works that people are relating to that the most. So we do more of that and less of the other stuff. After we give everything room to breathe, start with a $20 pressure cooker ad. Awareness and sales. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, traffic and sales. Watch. Let's go back over here. I do make the differentiation. And right here, I because I, I wrote it down earlier um, at the, when I did the video script, because I started with the video script. 
uh, instead of saying menopause, which can be construed as kind of disease, you know, we're working with stuff that we don't know, you know, we don't need to bring that up. Estrogen loss is self-explanatory for women. They'll understand. Okay, that means hormones. Uh, we develop renew and regrow to address it all with eight D T H T blocking ingredients. You can manage, we should say help manage the real reason why hair thinning and loss happens. You literally can't buy this in stores, Amazon or the TikTok shop. That's uh, big. I want you to know that there's usually about a 30% Amazon lift, Amazon lift. I talked about it with my mastermind group this morning. Uh, people sometimes are, they have preference to buy on Amazon. If you're not on Amazon, they're not going to buy. So your direct campaign uh, creates the lead. Then maybe they're prime members. They want to go and they just trust Amazon more. And they want it faster. Um, that's a, that's something that you want to know. So if you're not on Amazon and you should be, um, if you're not though, then make sure and distinguish that because a 30% average lift is that's a lot of money that a lot of people don't ever think about. It's amazing how it doesn't land on very many people's radar. Uh, at the right potency, rosemary. So re it, that's proprietary. So instead of this proprietary formula, so it, that gives them the idea. You can't go buy that at the store. Uh, producing, <coughs> excuse me, producing a thicker, fuller, healthier looking head of hair. So not just saying straight up, it's thicker, fuller, healthier looking, softens it. Uh, getting into the other ingredients. And again, if we go over here, I just got these ingredients here. And I picked the ones that I wanted to use. And some I cleaned up and some that I used verbatim. Right? Uh, even like I, I denoted here, I chose... Oopsies, show this tab instead. I chose lavender oil because uh, uh, the uh, anti-inflammatory properties, the soothing, because that hits the high awareness of what people think lavender is. Um, here's a easy, inoffensive way, effective way to frame your uh, guarantee. Um, again, so user experience, positioning and user experience. So we're combining video to draw, drive home, you know, minoxidil, uh, stop using minoxidil, throw your minoxidil. So I would, you know, reword that. Um, instead of saying stop using minoxidil, let's just go over to the GPT because I know you guys like this. Um, okay, so for my video in the same ad, I say... What would be a better way of complementing the copy or the primary copy? It'll understand. Sure. Right on, dude. Right on. Make the switch to a treatment that tackles the real cause of hair loss. Men, it's time. So and, and when we say niching, that's what I would call niching but it's still specific call outs. So it's hitting different awarenesses that men and women have. So really at the end of the day, it all comes down to different levels of awareness, market, offer, solution, all the different kinds of awarenesses. That's not all, um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, now, I wrote this as like I was doing a podcast. Now, I like being bald, but it's not possible to fully regrow or add volume to your hair, right? So uh, I'm like, why is the bald guy doing this commercial? Minoxidil helps increase blood flow and whiten follicles in both men and women. Products like Rogaine use different potencies of minoxidil and contain a few different ingredients, but minoxidil is the hero. Minoxidil prolongs the antigen process or phase, the, okay, the active growth phase. That's when more follicles are in the growth phase process at one time. Add that word. 
blood flow circulates the nutrients your follicles need to produce new hair cells. One problem. Nobody eats enough of the right foods. It would be impossible to. to. <laughs> so your blood can't circulate the nutrients your follicles need to not only widen, but get the essential nutrients they require to produce new hair cells inside of your hair follicles for the fullest, thickest, healthiest looking hair you've had in years. That's why we developed Renew and Regrow for men and women. It's loaded with essential nutrients your hair follicles must have to make your hair fuller and more volumized. Rosemary oil at the right potency is what every human being wants for fuller, thicker looking hair, period. End of story. Have a nice day. Like minoxidil, rosemary helps deliver fresh blood and nutrition to your starving follicles. But unlike minoxidil, the right amount of rosemary oil, again, making it sound proprietary, assists in blocking the two biggest enemies of a full head of hair. 5-alpha reductase DHT, right? So you can see how I'm complementing the user experience. So with just an ad and video, I can make the sale, send them to a simple shop page, Shopify, uh, what's the new platform everybody's using? No. No. Not, uh, go high level, sorry. Sorry. Uh, so you could use whatever you want to make these simple e-com pages, what people call e-com. They're just landers, different landers. You want to have lots of tops of real estate to test against when you send people to see what is going to convert those high intention clicks, yada, 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 have different sections to test against video, no video, um, UGC, no UGC. Uh, all the all that type of stuff. But the fact of the matter is, right here, if you want to convert out of the gate, you can do it like this. And all the variations and, you know, I can use different symbols to help improve the pixel and who the pixel reaches out to to put in front of my ads because people who have issues with minoxidil probably have issues with the pharmaceuticals, vice versa. So there's ways I can get pro cross-pollination or just individual funnels that, uh, you know, ads that become their own, you know, thriving controls. Your control is in the ad, even though the page is what converts them. Not really. It's not the page. It's just confirmed biasing the sale that you've already made. That's what we need to do. That's why I'm showing you this.